We're live. We are live, yes. Yes, live from Bader Brown. We're at Bader Brown. Love guys. your beer. Cheers, Cheers fellas. Yes. All right. And we are drinking. And there are kids. What are you and there's a live studio audience. Just like normal. Hey, hey. Us. Zach, put your pants back on. <laughs> Not that kind of show new, just yet. New socks orders acting up even though they're children running around. That's so right. what a shot. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start it out like we always start it out with a humble brag, and that would be mine. Uh, I predicted Lance Lynn would go to the Twins, and he did. Now we just need him to complete the second part of my prediction and suck. That is the most important part you need to do, Lance, so let's please get into that. He's very capable. Yeah. He's very he's, capable of sucking. They have a a bunch of guys that could very well suck, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, <laughs> yes. I, I think that, like, I mean, like, everyone that they signed this offseason, for the most part, actually, I'll, I'll just go everyone that they signed, could be terrible. It could, could be fantastically bad for them, and I can't wait. Fantastic, uh, man. Well, they're, they're lining it up, too, because they, they, they DFA'd uh, uh, Kenny's Vargas today. So they pretty much said, Logan, Logan Morrison, you're in. Yeah. And he could be horrible, and it would be love. He will. He will. I can't wait. I want to point out, I don't know who Lance Lynn is. What about Logan Morris? I don't even know who Lance Lynn is. No, neither one. What about Jeff Lynn? You know Jeff Lynn? The traveling Wilburys? Oh, man. He's the most handsome guy in there. You know Ginger Lynn, right? Ginger Lynn. Okay, all right. We got it. All right. We did want to talk about a few things before we get into our predictions for 2018. So first up. Is Carson Palmer? Ooh, that's that's, a, that's not bad. He has been bad. He's been very bad. I yes. mean, people, why don't you tell me how bad you think he's been? He's been so bad. Like uh, initially, when when Hector Santiago came in, we had we had let everyone know, don't worry, Hector Santiago is not going to take time away from Carson Palmer. Carson Fulmer's decided that he would like Hector Santiago to be the fifth starter. He has no objection to that. He would like. He just wants to hand that right over to him. I mean, it's been batting practice time for Carson Fulmer the entire spring training. Now, I know if you're an established starter, you can get away with, oh, I was working on something when everyone's blasting you all over the yard. When you're battling for a job... You've got to do something, and I don't know, he's got 18 ERA. I mean, this is uh, That's pretty embarrassing sad. time. Now, the, the one thing, a lot of Sox fans are like, yes, now it's time to put him in the bullpen role. I'm not so sure. He yeah. might just be bad. So I really dislike this whole bullpen role, right? Because it doesn't make sense to me. If you think, if you saw like a performance like Ronaldo Lopez had today, where like he was great for three innings and then he started getting bashed around, if Fulmer was doing that, I would say, you know what, he's just yeah. not good the second time through the order. Let's like, off. let's put him in the bullpen and maybe he'll do some good things in the bullpen. He's bad immediately. He's bad immediately. <laughs> That's the last thing you want from your from your bullpen. Like you don't want to be like, hey, get that guy in here who gets the shit kicked out of him immediately. That's yeah, the guy that yeah, I the want. Guy, the guy who the guy who arrives in the seventh inning and gives up five runs. That's yes. not that's not a role. We, we've we've had, had that guy quite, quite a bit. We have. Yeah. So let, let's Chris, not do that. That's Chris Beck's position. All right. You <laughs> cannot have Chris Beck's spot. All right. Carson Fulmer. I'm sorry. I feel like we could just <laughs> sign Mike McDougal to come back and do it again. <laughs> I can go out there and throw. I mean, honestly, you know what, though? Office. I think you got a lot more movement on your pitches lately <laughs> than, than Fulmer does. So he dropped, that, that, he dropped nice right loft, that nice loft you got, <laughs> that, that 12 to 6. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Nasty. It's a nasty drop. All right, so you've got something to tell us about. You just went and met Mike North. Yeah. You ravaged his house, stole a bunch of shit from him, right? Is that what happened? Exactly. No, Mike North, as Beef Loaf uh, alerted me to, was having a, an estate sale. And if you didn't read the blog today, uh, well, you should have. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> but no, I drove up there with my daughter, and it was really, it was really nice. Mike was really cool. The house is really cool, and he had some stuff in there. I think all the good stuff was gone. Like he packed up the good stuff because there was some stuff in there. I like. I don't want Mike North's blender. <laughs> like, and I, don't, I definitely do not want. Free utensils he got from Portillo's that are on the counter that the woman's like, don't let your daughter touch those. They're dirty. <laughs> She's laughing. Good job, man. But you bought his flashlight, right? Like, wow. I mean, he said go and use one. He signed it. Why would he yeah. lie? Why would he lie? <laughs> yeah, there's no. Yeah, absolutely not. But no, we picked up. Uh, uh, if you read the blog, but if if you didn't read the blog. We had uh, May got, or my daughter, Little Miss Shortstop, got a Playboy, Mr. Playboy, Bunny. 
because she thought it was the best thing ever. And yeah, it seems appropriate. Was, it, was, it was very appropriate, age appropriate. Totally. <laughs> Mike wanted to sign it for her. I said, no, just sign the bat and the bobbleheads, please. And we were good to go. So, yeah, Mike North, go up there. I got tomorrow, what, 9 to 1. Tomorrow's yeah, a lot of day. Last day. Last day. Last day. He's moving, day. right? He's moving, he's out, moving to, out to Huntley. And then and he's, he's splitting time, time between Vegas, Vegas right? and whatnot. Yeah. Last day to ransack his house. <laughs> <laughs> you need an unnamed Bears jersey. And you want to pay fifteen dollars for it? He has at least three or four. <laughs> He's got everyone. Yeah. He's got a lot. All right, I think we have a couple questions uh, from from Twitter. We do. So the, the the Twitter folks blast out a couple questions. This is from Caleb. He said, "Who are the prospects?" And he would include everyone who's in the majors right now. So Gio, Lopez, Moncada, Adam Engel, all those guys. Do you see pulling off a beer or two in the clubhouse and then coming out in a big game and delivering some sort of big hit? Or collecting a save a la Mark Burr. Okay. It's definitely not Carson Palmer. Yeah, no. Carson Palmer might drink that much, but he, won't, right. he won't do anything. But I'm going to go. I, this guy's not on the, the, the 40. He's on the 40 man, I think, but he's not on the, the 25 man. I'm going to go with Charlie Tilson. Oh, and I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to say that he is going to be at like bootleggers till 4 in the morning. <laughs> and then a day game the next day, he's going to be super hungover, and he's going to hit a home run. You see, I, when, when I got this question, I reached out to my sock summer, and we talked briefly, and my first guess was Charlie Tilson also. I, I yeah, mentioned Charlie true. Tilson as a fourth outfielder and coming up big with yeah. something. He's a hometown guy. I think he, we, we've got that, he that feeling about him. He's got, so, he's got the south side, uh, the suburb drinking thing going. He's got to be the guy, right? Who's, I'm, I'm going to go with Big Game James. Oh. Because and that's what I thought you were gonna go. With. No, no, but you didn't. But they're asking for a prospect. Oh, prospect. A prospect. Oh. that's gonna do it. Yeah, not not a guy in the current team. Yeah, there's, that's the there's alcoholics in the current team. We gotta, we gotta <laughs> go with the most bullshit. Because, uh, because uh, James Shields is definitely the guy that's drunk half the time he's out there. <laughs> that's why I like the oh, potential. Man, a prospect. Let's just say Kopech. Kopech is a great well, let's, choice. Let's just say, you know what? So you know, too, that would be blasted all over Instagram. He's on the prowl right. now. Right. He's, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's on the prowl. That's, that's a good point. He would be in the clubhouse I heard chugging that was beers. BS. Chugging beers and he'd have an Instagram story. And then like two minutes later, he'd be out there on the field. Yes. That would be I love terrific. It. I love it. All right. What's the next question? Next question is from KO. And he says, how many of the 108ers can do the Courtney Hawkins backflip? Uh, zero. That would be zero. Be although, be zero. although. Fellow White Sox blogger, DJT, once told Therese E and I that he could do a backflip. And so we've been now, chiding him a little bit. Now, about, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you come out and you drink in the 108, you tend to say some ridiculous shit. That was one of those things. That was. <laughs> yes. Now, I got nothing against, against DJT. He looks like he's in far better shape than any of us. He's good a, dude. Good dude. Good, good, young, healthy dude. Can't do a fucking He's not doing a bad do Zero percent chance. However, we, I think he can hit better than Courtney Hawkins. I, <laughs> I agree. I totally agree with this. Yes. All right. Now, now it's the main event. It is about time to predictions. Main event. And you know what? Before, before, we get, before we get into our predictions. We've got Bonita Stakey. She's Bonita. got a prediction. <laughs> you want to give her this prediction, prediction first? My prediction is that Chris Sale will come back to the White Sox. Yes! yes. 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 Woo! Yes. I'm in. What's, what's that contract look like? <laughs> is it going to be a team-friendly deal? Five years, ten dollars. Right? Can we trade Carson <laughs> Fulmer for Chris Sale? <laughs> yeah, that's in the works right now. Oh, and there's what's your prediction? That's, that's totally reasonable. My prediction is you're gonna like freak out in about 15 minutes, and mommy's gonna have to take you home. All right, it is prediction time. Let's yes. get into this. We're gonna go. Uh, we'll go around and we'll do one each. Uh, the first we've, got, we've got categories. And in categories. 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 So categories. Let's, categories. let's maybe start it out with the White Sox player predictions. Uh, so B right you're you're going to go first. B I would like to start. What are we starting with? Players? White Sox the player, player predictions. The White Sox player predictions. I'm going to go with Yohan Moncada, hero, Twinkie lover, will lead the White Sox in home runs this season. Wow. He's going to pass up a Jose Abreu. 
That's a big step. The wow. corpse of Matt Davidson he will pass up. Yeah. No, Matt Davidson, Garcia, it, everyone. So, like so down one. I can't I'm, throw it. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that prediction. I don't think it's even going to come close. I think, you know, my man at shortstop is going to hit the most home runs. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, my suck summer, you go next. Oh, I'm going to go next? Oh, okay. This is bold. And I don't know now, but I'm going to go sick with it. Michael Polk. <laughs> He's no nervous stop. No good. The pronunciation. No good. He's nervous. Michael <laughs> <laughs> yes. Manley, what is your what is your prediction? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Do you have pictures drawn here for yourself? <laughs> Michael Kopech's first start and first win will be on Hawk Day versus Chris Sale. Oh, Sunday, oh, September yes. 6th. I like it. They're playing nice. Boston. <laughs> the bandwagon is going to be in full effect with with like what was it gravy train with biscuit wheels <laughs> like everyone's gonna be out because it's gonna be the hard ticket to get That's right. and then Kopech is gonna be like oh my god and then it's like sales gonna be like who's this young kid and then bam we win <laughs> I'm and little... Hawk is gonna like call him something he's gonna call him like the condor killer or something <laughs> and he's gonna carry that nickname into the rest of his career I'm a little disappointed because I love talking shit to you but I love that <laughs> that was actually good I love that I brought my A game I brought my A game but just, just, just to let you guys know we uh, Dreezy and I have worked on these predictions for weeks my sock summer <laughs> two nights ago was like Wait, what do we got to predict? <laughs> <laughs> so these are almost all off the cuff. So that was a really good one. So speaking of getting shit talked to him, this is going to happen right now. Here is my prediction. James Shields <laughs> will throw 200 innings this year. 200. At least. What? At least 200 innings. This is the worst prediction we'll make. <laughs> you haven't seen my others. <laughs> My others are bigger long shots than this. I'll take an under on 120 inches. So oh. I don't think it's close to 200. <laughs> You've got to put him in the pen for that. Our, our arm part. angle, injury. Oh, oh, he's got the the arm right. angle is beautiful. Don't worry about that. He doesn't have any accelerators in his contract. Let him throw 200. Let him, his arm roll oh, Is he throwing a televised game yet? Uh, no, but I. You know, no one's it's seen all the sign mark. It's all backfield. No yeah. one's seen the sign He could be mark. dipping real low like well, Vince Capaldi. We don't even know. Yeah. He, he, he did pitch a game. Oh, okay. He, he looked good. He looked right. fantastic from what I understand. Was it through pictures? Uh, he was sending me texts from the mountain. Nice. <laughs> of course. That's so, how. People, if what's your next uh, White Sox player? Top prospect. Twinkie lover. <laughs> Joan Moncada. We'll lead the White Sox in stolen bases as well. <laughs> oh, yes. sorry. He was in home run. <laughs> Home run, stolen bases. He's yes. If he leads them in ERA Tim Anderson, next, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw you out of here. <laughs> I'll throw you and your little green hat right on. It's the same time he's there. Yeah, 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 he's got yeah, the yeah. flat cap. No, I wear that. I can't fit yeah. my head in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't get in this. My What's yours? All right, to continue on with the James Shields, okay. I say that James Shields is gonna have more wins than Lucas Giolito with less innings pitched. Wow. Lucas no, Giolito no, will settle into the poor Jose role that we thought Lopez would get stuck in. Hashtag racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody's, gonna, yeah, somebody's not going to get shown up for. I thought it, I was 100% sure it's going to be Ronaldo Lopez. I am, I'm, but I, I think Giolito, it will be the horse. horse. Yeah. I agree with that. And I could totally see James Shields getting more wins. So I'm, I'm down with that. I, I, but I do think Giolito is going to be a fantastic pitcher. I, like, I, I, we were talking about this last weekend, and I actually said that I think Giolito ends up being better than Kopech. And, yeah, you did say that. Yes. And I, I don't think that, like Kopech's going to be bad. I think that it's just going to be that they're going to be two very good pitchers. I, I'm hoping like a really good version of Blackjack and uh, Alex Fernandez. That kind of, kind that of that would Giolito's going to be like? That would be yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. And he's going to be in a band called the Stickman. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he'll play Samborine. So, so my, so my, my next prediction. Is, my, <laughs> be in the band on the Cheever letters? <laughs> <laughs> my next prediction is I don't even believe this, but I'm going to throw it out. <laughs> Abby Garcia will hit 30 home runs this year. 30. <laughs> That is a bold prediction. I, probably about 10 years ago, I made a bet where like I, I didn't ever get paid on. Where when the, 
or less than 10, I guess, because when Quentin went to San Diego, someone bet me that he would hit 30 home runs. And I thought to myself, has he ever done that? <laughs> Avi's in the same boat. Like, I think people think he's like this, this five-tool guy, but he yeah, cannot yeah. hit for power. This year, he hits for power. Let me look up something. Don't. Okay, yes. I, 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 this is what I thought. Avi Garcia only hit 28 fly balls last year. <laughs> so it's going to be tough to hit 30 home runs. He's going to need like seven or eight inside the park ground ball home runs. That, well, that's it's in my, possible, I guess. I don't that's know. That's in my equation. That's <laughs> in my, you figure that out? Okay, I just want to make Do sure. bounce home runs count? I figure at least one will be during Michael Brantley dying in the outfield for the Indians, which will happen in April. Yes. <laughs> All right, what's your next one? Okay. Top prospect? Twinkie Love. Yohan Mokata. We'll lead the White Sox in on-base percentage. Yes. I mean, it wasn't ERA, so I'm all right. <laughs> this is fine. I mean, that one should be easy. I think he's the only guy who walks that much, you know? He's the can, only guy who's going to get that many walks. Can we so. then assume, just because of how, how you laid this out, that you will lead the one away in Twinkie consumption? There's no question. Okay. 100%. When we, do our, when we do our Twinkie night, which we haven't announced yet, but when we do our Twinkie <laughs> night, I will lead the pack crushing I, Twinkies. I will wear an adult diaper. That. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're already getting some good comments on the hoodie. Uh, oh, oh yeah, the hoodie's sharp. They want to see what's underneath. Like, oh, well, you're you're like, gonna show, I almost take showed that hoodie off, baby. <laughs> Long Beach dirt bags. That's what we got right there. All right, what's your next socks? All right, I went above and beyond. I did four instead of three, but I'm going to cut one out. Overachiever. Uh, <laughs> well, I did it late, right? So I figured I'm going to come in and kick their ass and just show them. All That's right. He always acts towards us. Eloy. Are you predictions about Moncada? No, I did not, I did not predict him to do anything. Moncada or no? I, I didn't, he wasn't interested in me. Eloy will crush three to four homers against the Cubs in September over here. That series, that uh, okay. last series, the home series. Yeah. Which normally will be meaningless, right? Because it's the end of the year, no big deal. Right. But after a full, healthy year, leading the Cubs in home runs, Skinny Schwarber will pull a groin, attempting to rob a home run <laughs> and be out for the entire play. Yes. yes. All right. So, thank you for eating healthy. Here's the only problem I have with this. What? This... This makes the assumption that Eli Jimenez, who hits the ball 100 miles an hour, has smoked one out of the park and fucking slow ass short, I don't care how skinny he is, gets back to the wall in time to hurt himself. Listen, after he's hit his third, he's gonna be tired. So number four is gonna be right there. He's gonna be like, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. That's not what I'm concerned about. I think he ripped that from a Hardy Boys novel. I could be wrong. I think I remember that from seventh grade. I think that already happened. So you're stealing shit. Choose your own adventure. Man. Come on. That's All right, All right that's my, my play. last oh, White Sox play. Hey, give me one more, man. Right. You get six, I get hey. two. All right. So now we start to kick in. My one last one for the White Sox player is this is the longest shot of all. This is by far the longest shot. And remember, I had James Shields, 200 innings, Avi, 30 home runs. My last one is just absolutely insane. Nate Jones will spend zero days on the DL. That will never happen. That has zero percent. I, I know. I, this is me hoping more than anything. But I, I want it. I want to will it to happen. I'm going to go with I'm saying it right now. No days on the DL. But if, it, if there's no days on the DL, he only spends about 80 days on the Sox. <laughs> He's going to start the year on the DL. Well, hang on. If there's a, if there's a major league strike... This might happen. Okay. This, this could happen. I, 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 I'm feeling this one. All right, I feel the under on this one. This could work. All right, uh, we're gonna go White Sox team predictions. Yes. Uh, and let's let's get uh, we'll go we'll switch oh. it around. We'll go right. reverse order. Reverse cowboy on this one. Oh, <laughs> hello. We'll uh, go my Sox summer first. All right, keep them going with the, the Cubs and Sox in September. Even though the games won't count versus the Cubs and the Sox because the Cubs are gonna be far superior. <clears throat> there will be a renewed interest in the Sox vs. Cubs series. There will be some strong words exchanged in the press, and a slight scuffle will occur in September. Hawk will get really upset with Baez, because we all know that Baez will pull some shady shit on Tim Anderson. Baez will not pull that shit on Mikata, because Mikata would kill him and fuck his girlfriend at the same time. <laughs> problem I have with this. The only problem I have with this is that I have long told you guys that Tim Anderson is the fucking Nino Brown. That's right. He, he, if he didn't do it, 
the stuttering dude with the, with the step haircut would come out and beat the shit out of him. All right? Bias don't stand a chance over there. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm like James Carville in old school. I have no comment. That was <laughs> All right. I think the next, the next one is a White Sox team one that – so let me just preface this with – we all did these separate. We didn't talk about these or like even like throw them out to each other. Me and Beef Loaf had the same damn prediction. Like, for the exact, White Sox like exactly, exactly the same. Exactly wording the same. Wording almost the same. Yes. The same idea, everything. And uh, go ahead, Beef Loaf, tell them. And that is. Yes! That Ricky. <laughs> I'm just as excited for this prediction. That Ricky Renteria will once again lead MLB in injections and he'll blow past last year's total, which was eight. And he'll get into double digit ejections. Rates. That's going to be impressive. I can't I wait. Want to see I can't that. wait. I want I, to see that. Last year, it felt like all of the ejections were at home. Because I felt like every Friday night, a drunken 108 was jumping up and cheering for the ejection. We had no clue what the score was. But we knew that Ricky was getting tossed for some bullshit that we also were on his side, even though we didn't see it. My favorite thing is like how, a pull, right? how hard <laughs> it is to get ejected with instant replay. Yes. Like, it made it like 10 times harder. Because, like, even if you argue a call, like, they're going to just review it. He somehow still went nuts on them that many times. <laughs> and I. I would love to have a mic on that dude and hear what he says, because like yeah, there's no there. shit with is is bushly compared to what he's probably saying. Now when we met him, he was a really nice guy, very, very yeah. excellent handshake and all yeah. that stuff. But maybe you know you realize you see him from the you don't want to fuck with maybe that he's guy. Yeah, he can get pissed off. You don't want to mess with him. I, El, El Hefe is right behind us. <laughs> he's in there. Tell, tell us about it. can can a Mexican get a little angry? <laughs> <laughs> That's how much tequila you have. <laughs> but I do have a prediction. I am oh. going to meet that pizza girl at opening day again like last year. <laughs> if you are not familiar with this, you need to come to the 108 when El Jefe's out and have him recant to you the pizza girl story. And it doesn't, it's not cool. Like, like you're, you're thinking like, oh, like in the, the movies I watch on Pornhub, there's some kind of pizza girl story. <laughs> This is more like the movies that play in your head during a nightmare. <laughs> I'll have they lived it in reality. He will tell you about it. It's terrifying. All right, next White Sox team prediction. Let's get to my Sox summer. All right. I, you know what? These looked really strong before, and now they're looking a little weak after that one. Uh, okay. That's not even in English. So I, don't, I don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> the first thing I, you can't read that. You have to make one up. I, don't, I, don't, I won't no, read no, this, whatever great. that is. Less bunts, more blunts. <laughs> okay. That's what's going to happen. In the one there will be a rumor. No, not in the one away. There'll be a rumor We're about the Cubans <laughs> are smoking the weed like crazy. The weed. And the dumb bump business will take a backseat to the blunt. Oh, my goodness. I would be way in favor of that. I think, like, honestly, I think Jose Roberto was high as hell at Sox Fest. Because if you see some pictures, his eyes are like this big. And he is like they're bloodshot and all hell off, and it's sad. So, let me ask though, like I'll I'm, post it on Twitter later. I'm, I'm looking at the at the team and like looking at the guys that you're talking yeah. about. Man, Tyler Saladino is way fucking higher than all. Of them. There's no question. There is no question about it. Tyler Saladino was born high. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't know if, if we were kicking no, off. He's, he's SoCal. Oh, he's, he's, he's SoCal. I mean, that's that is SoCal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, my White Sox prediction, one of the White Sox team predictions, and this is, I, I don't know that this is actually a good move, but I just feel like this is a move that could happen, is that the White Sox will trade for Adam Jones. Now this is, this would mean something that we all are not expecting, and my next prediction goes totally against this. <laughs> this would mean that they I'll are... Mr. Hand, big in favor of this. They are <laughs> moving towards the playoffs, right? So, like, let's say the Twins suck, the Indians aren't doing as well as they're supposed to be, we're doing better than we should, and hey, the Orioles are looking to get rid of Adam Jones. They didn't sign Mustaka, so their team's bad. So, they, they're going to they're they're gonna be no looking to trade trouble. the guys that are expiring. So, they're going to try and trade Machado. No one's, going to want, no one's going to want to pay for Machado, right? Maybe someone does. But Adam Jones is the, the guy that they could get something for instead of nothing. That's right. And I, that's something like Dan Duquette would actually get rid of. Like, I, I, don't, I don't see him like wavering on that. I think he'd get rid of it. I agree with you. He, he won't value Adam Jones the way he values 
Machado, even though Adam Jones is like, you can pencil him in for his numbers every year, good defender, all that stuff, the White Sox seem to be desperate for center fielder. I don't know. I guess we'll find out later in the predictions if people yeah. have Adam Adam Engel love or not, but I could totally see that. I think we've already gotten past the White Sox player ones. No one cares about that. <laughs> I had an Adam. You had an Adam Engel? But it was like the weakest of the four. Okay. So, okay. I was going for the laughs earlier. All right. Let's go White Sox team prediction. Okay. So, so my prediction... A lot of you will not like this prediction, but uh, let me let me spin it for you once we get it going. It's got to be Yohan Makata. <laughs> Eloy Jimenez and Michael Kopech will not play an inning with the White Sox this year until September. I now, hear me out. I agree. Okay? I agree. So, with Eloy, this this is a positive story. If he doesn't come up before then, it's because the rest of your outfielders are hitting and playing well. Adam Engel's fielding his position and hitting enough. Nicky Delmonico's playing well in left field, and then I assume Ryan Cordell makes his team. Yeah. And so even the fourth outfielder's playing well, and you don't need Eloy yet, right? You're not going to jam Eloy and waste service time for no reason if the team is playing okay without him. And plus, you've got a lot of runway. You can put him at double A, etc. Right. With Kopech, he still has stuff to work on at triple A. And right now, what he has is big velocity. And a lot of the guys at triple A, a lot of the four A players... There's a lot of garbage guys down there who can't really play, but they'll hit a 100-mile-an-hour fastball. Yeah. So I could totally see him getting stalled out down there, having not such a great season to start, still being a, a, a prime guy, but not ending up here until September. No, here's, here's why I like this prediction so much. It means that James Shields is probably a third. <laughs> <laughs> and importantly, I locked in your, your yes. projection. <laughs> and my, my Giolito one, too. That's a, that's a beautiful day. 100% agree. 100%. I don't think they're showing up early. All right, yeah, even though I blow my stuff up. Too. Throw that last White Sox team one on us of your two. You get right. like nine predictions. I know. I know. Well, I already alluded to the Hawk one, so I'm just going to go with the other one. There will be ten, over 10 sellouts this year oh, wow. that will actually look like sellouts. Wow. So, so not only will look like they be sold days. out, yes, yes. basically, yes. or that the hooded sweatshirt thing. So Hooded Sweatshirt Day right. was insane. Hawk Alarm Clock Day was like that. Uh, was that? No. So my daughter decided to be born, so I couldn't go. You weren't so there, but there was a lot of people there. Let's yeah. count them out. We got opening day. Opening day. We got yep. three versus the Cubs. That's four. Right? That's four. We've got Hawk Day. That's five. So that didn't have for the sale. We've got Cherizy Topless Day. That's six. <laughs> Twinkie Day. <laughs> Day 7. Well, Twinkie. the one away will be full. Twinkie, Twinkie Day. Twinkie Day 7. Yeah. Uh, we've got, what do we got? Opec and... Uh, you know, like debut day. That's oh, right. So that's nine. Which one's the hawk? That's nine. I already did the hawk. Oh, and then I thought we were saying Jason Benetti broadcast from the one away. That's that. Sounds like a We made it. Easy. No problem. That is also a crazy topless day. Which I'm gonna. I'll see. We'll have to separate. Star Wars day for the terrible hawk solo. All right. On to mine. Uh, which is the one that makes the most sense out of all of these is that the White Sox will lose 90 games this year. Okay, my, my, my thought, not a bold prediction. The betting line right now is at like 71, so that's 91 losses. Look, look. <laughs> I think people <laughs> are way bullish on this team. So, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to one up it. One up it. Get, go high. 100 losses. 100 losses. There you go. Sure. You have it. You have it. Which is hilarious because James Shields. Winning 20 games in a year where we only win 62 games is incredible. That's just incredible. He's like uh, he's like 1976 Steve Carlton. We had like 28 wins on a 72. Seven, <laughs> 72. Okay, all right, I went off on the year. He had like 28 wins on a 67 win team. All right, so on to what we're calling the fun predictions, which means fun. kind of anything you want. Yes. These are predictions. Yeah. Potpourri. Just right? go on. Yeah. It's the potpourri edition, which the 108 definitely needs. It's a little sweaty here. We don't have the hot tub to boil away all the stink. That's right. So let's go uh, with beef loaf to start this one, since you're drinking. I'm going to say <laughs> that the head of White Sox pride and passion, a Mr. James Duda, a man who hates concessions, will this year buy the 108ers a concession. Big prediction. I think I think he's he, he likes the one waiters. He's gonna we're gonna convince him and he's gonna buy us something. It might be one dollar hot dog, I don't know. Right. 
I don't, he doesn't seem like a guy who's willing to open the yeah, wallet yeah, for a consumption, yeah. but he's going to get something. You know, I would, be, I would be fine with if he bought us one box of popcorn to split it. That would be terrific. <laughs> I think it's going to happen this year, though. I because think wow. usually these guys will sit on the side of me. I'll put the popcorn down with the hole. <laughs> we will get a surprise. We will have one hell of a time out there. <laughs> By the way, this is also on Yule. 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 This is Yule. 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 Oh, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. This will be Treasy Ooh. Topless Day, too, so it'll be great. But Natty will be watching. It sounds like Treasy Bottomless Day. Oh, no, no. That's every game. That's every game. Treasy runs the bases. They're going to play. I, I've, got the same, I've got the same fly on my pants that Brett Favre does. Just, <laughs> all right, let's, let's switch over. Oh, let's man. switch over to Black Sox Summer. Well, Duda, Duda actually is supposed to buy me a beer from some saving shit that he pulled on the, on the Pride of Pants. You see? You oh, see where I'm going? I think that's, that's probably going to happen. Right. You'll never see this video. I, did, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that shit, but I yeah. knew something was going to happen. Uh, okay. I wanted to, like, allude to this last time. The amount of special guests in the 108 will increase in 2018. Okay? Kittle's going to declare it his new home base. And in I one game, it. he will eat all of my peanuts. This is going to go... You've got to pronounce that. Because that got weird. That got weird for a second. He, Close uh, enough. Doesn't matter. Peanuts. We'll just move it along. All right. Where you can feed them for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> you got to open up the bankroll for that. Kittle will also convert to Bader Barrel as his go-to beer. I like it. Unless there's it. something behind the scenes that I don't know about. And then he will build the best kegerator, kegerator ever and show it off when the one away does a soak at his house. Oh, shit. right. I love all that shit. There's yeah. like four predictions in there. We're soaking it right. He's also going to put a naked biker over the top. You're being called out, brother. One more over the top. Mike North will be there too because he said yesterday he will come and watch a game with us if we have an extra ticket. I love it. Look, I'm not. I was like, bro, we I'm can give you a ticket. I'm not trying to call anyone out, but that is a lot of beef in the hot tub. You better have a big ass hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my my first fun one. I had this really, really long winded thing about Bryce Harper being the worst signing that Jed Hoyer and, and Theo Epstein ever make, but fuck that one. I thought of something this morning that I really feel like might happen because the Miami Marlins are such a fucking tire fire that I think O.J. Simpson will throw out a first pitch <laughs> at a Miami Marlins yes. game this year. Yes. Like, I just see it happening like, in a moment of, of like, just the, the worst promotion idea ever, like O.J. Simpson's throwing out a first pitch wearing a glove. <laughs> If that happens, we gotta be there. The moderator's oh, yeah. gotta be in attendance for that. We will drive a van down to the <laughs> Miami. We'll buy, we'll buy seats next to Marlins. Let's get a Bronco. We're gonna sit next to Marlins. Marlins. We will drive. Oh, look at a Bronco. We will drive it down, Marlins and then fan did not renew. And friend, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah he did. Oh, really? And then friend of the 108, friend of the 108 Marlins man. You've seen the uh, yeah. last summer and I with yeah. Marlins man. Yeah. He's our friend. We'll go hang with him during the game. Yeah, the OJ game. That sounds good. That sounds like cheap seats. <laughs> I predict OJ's pitch will be slashing left. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> Seems correct. Yeah. I like that you were waiting for that. I didn't give that was the one I didn't, didn't give you. I don't know who's up. Whoever wants to. Um, you go. I'll, I'll, you go, go, next. You go. I'll go next. So I predict. I gotta say it like I mean it. <laughs> Todd Frazier will be photographed wearing the Jersey Demolition t shirt in September Woo! when the Mets One face off with the Red Sox. Oh. Big game down the stretch, and he'll be photographed before the game in the shirt that was created by my gentleman here. Yep. Their brainchild, he'll be in that shirt, which he, he loved getting from you. Oh, he loved it. There's no question. Thanks, uh, Wally Money, for wearing that out on the field. Sky Point. Yeah, He's still alive. I, have He's a alive. Lot of I don't know. He said he had a long weekend and a lot of things to do. So uh, if, he's taking, don't know what that if he's taking blue pills. You were face down in his long weekend I was. the weekend before. <laughs> All right, let's, oh, let's hear your next yeah, no, one. We're not Craig Mack jinxing anybody. Uh, no, 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 no. All right, this is for just the, us here. Uh, the 108 crew will start to go to games earlier and earlier as the years or as the game absolutely is a year ago. No, 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 no. Okay, take it easy. I, you wait till next week. Take it easy. Not due to the awesome play of the team. Okay, not going to be that way. But rather, the Sox will actually announce who was throwing the first pitch. Yeah, I still oh, don't care. Yeah. Unless it's OJ and the lure of prospects. 
Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to see I'm a prospect telling, throw out a first Listen, person. I don't care. First, I'd rather have five free now. beers than, than go. <laughs> no, that's not true. We were there for first pitch for Giolito's first start at home, and we were there no, for first start. pitch. For Laura Lopez first start yeah. home. So start, I thought you're talking. You're talking. No, he's, he's talking prospects. Well, like, well, so Kofi, if Kofi's okay. there, we're going to go for two early. reasons. It's, Are you talking dual reasons? Jake Berger limping out there and throwing a first pitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, double reasons. Yeah, there's two. There's two reasons. But the lure of prospects is going to be the, probably the bigger. Okay. One. Yeah. But yeah. But the Sox are going to tell us who's throwing first pitch. Because how many times do we get there and they're like. Oh fuck! We would have come early. We knew Soup Dog was throwing the first pitch. That's right. But no one told us that Soup Dog was throwing the first pitch. I knew Soup Dog was throwing the first and pitch. Didn't tell us? No. no. Oh, I did not want to go early. That's horrible. Instead, I got blazed like Snoop Dog. <laughs> it, was, it was a way better time. Uh, all right. So my next one, I actually had uh, like this Chris Sale one about him winning the Cy Young. But now that I found out that he's going to come back to the Sox from uh, Bonita Stakey, yeah. I, I don't care about that he's, one. He's not. Yeah, he's not Here's my yeah. next prediction on May 28th. The Reds take on the Twins. The Reds are at home. And in honor of Harambe's death, they are going to do a, a bobblehead of hard shot killing Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> Bobble Jim will be this. <laughs> I want that shirt. My Sox Summer will drive all the way to Cincinnati that morning. This, <laughs> of all my predictions today, is the most likely. It is the most likely, yes. <laughs> That's pretty good. I love, I love that prediction. I love around it. You do love it. All right, my last one, my last uh, fun prediction. One dollar hot dog Wednesday nights Ooh. is going to be canceled before the end oh. of the year. Probably in part to the one oh eighters crushing too many one dollar hot dogs. Never happened. We saw the Never last happened. we saw the last one dollar hot dog yeah, yeah. night. That was effectively like it being canceled. It was a shit show. They ran out of hot dogs third inning. Well, Whoa. they couldn't find it. They, they ran out. They ran out. They ran out. Exactly. But then the next day, they had them when they were six seventy five. That's week. that's correct. They had that's a limited supply. That's why the one the one dollar hot dog night will just go away. They won't announce it. It'll just be, and then yeah. it won't happen. Yeah, they're It'll gonna just, pull some shady shit on that. Just fade away like Jim Parquet. That's <laughs> <laughs> my sex summer. Well, I I don't want to like. Continue this. I was. I had Do you one. Remember Harambe one too? No. I had. I had a hot dog. <laughs> hot dog one, one too. Okay. I had a hot dog one, but I also had one for uh, Second City Sports, uh, formerly Spoko. Yes. Since those assholes didn't show up, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> Fuck them. That's All right. All right. So one hot, one dollar hot dog days. We'll start to have a 9/11 type conspiracy theories, mostly started by the Pride and Passion Facebook group. Okay. They are going to make up all these stories of why we can't get our hot dogs, much like, you know, why we don't get paper tickets anymore. Much like they're, they're canceled. That's right. why. They're well, canceled. I, I'm going to be with As year goes on, them. it will be increasingly hard to get $1 hot dogs in the stands, which is total bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, we all know. Okay. We all know what a loss leader is, right? And the dollar hot dog is a loss leader. You used to see the tickets, and they're like, hey, $7 is really expensive. Can we do something for a dollar? And like, yeah, let's do a hot dog. Okay, so that's what they're going to bring in everybody in that. And then, as me and Wally Money watched last, uh, the last $1 hot dog game, this woman was sitting there checking the temperature of a hot dog and throwing ice on them and then turning the grill up, then pouring ice on them, then turning the grill up. It's like that's they did, how they did not dogs. want to sell the hot dogs. That sounds like a lot of science there. The shit's they're cooked. They're trying to perfect it. That sounds very scientific. Hot dogs are cooked, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you I don't know. know. That's something really insane. You don't so anyway, wash them in cold water. It's not a good hot dog. <laughs> I mean, it just, it just seemed That'd like there delicious. was some type of conspiracy going on against me and Wally from crushing another 15 to 20. Well, look at Wally, you blame us. Yeah. <laughs> Wally's got plenty of things going on in his door. So I think in case meets. I have the last one here. I had this great one about J.D. Martinez hitting 70 home runs. Yeah. I think that was a good idea. But, but he didn't show up, so here's, fuck that. Here's what is actually going to happen. <laughs> New Sox Order is going to have a game in the 108. Where they sneak in seventy hams. Yes, Ooh. this is definitely going to happen. Can that be done? I. <laughs> <laughs> it'll have to be logistics right now. How many? It'll have to be early in the season. Like a canned ham, cargo shorts, or like, like a big carving ham. Not an actual ham, man. <laughs> what is a ham? What? What is ham? <laughs> hams, dude. From the land of sparkling waters. I feel like. We could get Zach in a, a parka like a during, during yeah. the winter and get at least a 30 pound no. under the shirt, right? <laughs> and then he just comes in and then like, he, but he has like 10 down the leg, you know? And then he's just like, hey, that's just how I roll. <laughs> well, how, do, how do we get him around the metal detector? I mean, there's Those don't work. Those don't, work. Those don't yeah, actually work. Those are just for show. Okay. I've walked through there in steel toe boots 
and my, my Prince Albert in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You showed it to us. Yeah. Just to prove it. Yeah. Yeah. We have yet another Chris in yes, the room. Yes, we do. <laughs> so we have three Chris's. And I think what's happening after this is there's going to be a Baron Plains We've got jam We've got three quarters of Baron Plains. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. All the Chris's. Listen, I'm going to go. I can play the little drums on the table. Bongo. <laughs> you know, you the, the fucking beards we have in this room are amazing. They're pretty oh, they're amazing. amazing. <laughs> Somehow, I have, I'm the youngest of them. I have by far the, the most oldest. gray hair. Oh, my God. <laughs> Character. I look, I look like I could be their father. <laughs> <laughs> you might be their father. No, no, no. Thanks, Dad. I don't think so. Well, All right. So we got to move on to the 108 last one. Here's the, the last group. The 108 the most predictions. important. The ones we have the most control over. We're going to yes. do the 108 predictions. Uh, I will start because this one is, you got to kind of know us to know about this guy. He, he doesn't do well after Friday night. He goes pretty <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty hard. <laughs> Slumpbuster. You may have seen the Slumpbuster's Twitter account. This guy cannot handle having his own Twitter account, no. so I have to run it for him. Yes. You have it's to not, run his parody it's account. not really a parody account. It's me just typing for him. It's like <laughs> it's like what the Iron Sheik's <laughs> account say. is. That's exactly what he would say. Yes. Yeah. So I was. I'm going to say that the Slumpbuster makes it out to at least seven Saturday games. Now, let me... No, no that's, not, that's not even close to reality. Let that's the worst projection of last No, not even. Fuck no. Let me no. throw this out. Like, this guy, he... Two and, has, and a half is the over-under, in my opinion. For the past five years, he has had the weekend plan where he has every Saturday game, which is like 13 Saturday games. He's, on average, made four. So we're going to double it up this year. He's going to come out... I don't even believe this. But I'm just trying to will this down. <laughs> you would appreciate it. All right, now, oh, hold on. Well, we know Polish with extra onions is going to complain about this, but I'm going to say Slumpbuster and Biggins were the reason that we went from a 27-game package down to a 20-game package. 100%. Because they definitely did not use... Oh, yeah, they used the like Sundays for sure. They, were, they, 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 never, they were just like, hey, here's our Sunday tickets. It's Friday. We right. might show up Saturday, but here's those tickets just in case, too, because we're That's probably right. not going to show up. So, Polish, get right I, I have to those guys, not us. For sure. I have another quick prediction. Before we get to this, someone, maybe over at the table to our right, will bring me another red velvet. <laughs> <laughs> they were totally not even No, they weren't even paying Tree's attention. Tree's not even Tree's paying attention. Tree's is someone at the table to our right is not paying attention. They're totally about not like paying attention. <laughs> That's why they're going to be first round. I was ready to go, but I couldn't figure out right away. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to help, but it went the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, I'm going to go thirsty. I'm going to go thirsty then. All right. Be flow. All right. Let's go. So... My numero uno, it's one that I've been willing to happen. It's one that the consequences of which are undecided. We could argue right now. The 108ers will win the split the pot Whoa. in 2018. Whoa. All right? Mays so going to college. Down. Woo! Pink so, monkey. Oh, wait. Well, Mays going to college. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here's the only question. Yeah, well, you can take your cut and go home. That's fine. But the rest of us <laughs> are going to decide. Are we going to the pink monkey with this money? Or are we going to go to the horseshoe? Casino. Horseshoe. Casino. Horseshoe. Casino. Horseshoe. Look, I'm just saying casino. Oh, here's, now you're listening. Here's the thing. <laughs> Let, let's say, no, 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 we're not wasting the money. We've got to try to parlay it, okay? We go to the horseshoe, and let's say we win to split the pots, 8K. Then we can run it up to some real money. The 108 is going to retire, you know? The 108 retirement plan. The 108 retirement plan. $8,000, are you predicting there's going to be at least 20 people in this game? <laughs> well, we're going to win it. And the game we have to win it opening day. <laughs> you got one shot, right? <laughs> All right, I think that Beef Loaf will go to the most games in 2018. Okay, he's gonna win. He game. lives a block from the stadium. I, I live. This is a bold prediction. Okay, okay. I live four blocks from the stadium, and I have probably whooped his ass every year. And, you, and you'll continue year. to. Here's why. I think it's Here's happen. the problem. This year, the Beef Loaf loves to go to a baseball game, but I will not go by myself. That's true. I need someone to go with me. Now. I can probably count on you can come Bonita Stakey to come with me. I could come sit with you, Pete. Okay, maybe I will win this then. Because I don't want to go by myself. I don't like to be The LFA behind you is saying he will go with you as well. That's, that's too many Mexicans. I don't know how I'm going to go with that. You've got to save me from my wife. I hope Nikki's not listening right now. 
<laughs> and she's work, just not. Sucker. She's definitely not. So make, when they make, say make a phone call, make a phone just, call. Hey, I'm not even done with my goddamn. Go ahead. You, no, know, no, no. you guys can argue this out. I was just gonna say when they say being in a band is like being in a marriage. Let me just point out that. <laughs> The guy in my band brought me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife didn't pay attention. She didn't. That she was not paying attention until no. she heard Pink Monkey. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, not Pink Monkey. That's right. She she snapped to attention. It's like you had no. no not you. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. So hey, as if we were going to the Pink Monkey. Bonita, you gotta pay attention. Oh, Bonita. Well, no. Bonita. Teresa, you're gonna no. attend the no. second no. most amount of games. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bonita Stakey will go to more Sunday games than Biggins and Slump Buster combined. Oh, yeah. There's That's no okay. question. And my There's daughter, no Little Miss Shortstaff, will break her 13 game record this year. Oh, so yeah. More than 13 game record. Which I also Sunday, want to say Sunday crew, baby. that our, uh, my prediction was correct that my daughter has been on for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My next prediction is one that I really, really hope is going to happen. This is my, my favorite one that I want to happen. Is we will eat Portillos with Jason Benetti. Yes, <laughs> one time. How is this happening? Tell well, me how it's gonna happen. We're, we're gonna kidnap. Break. Oh, okay. <laughs> now it makes 100 percent sense. Okay, what? okay. Now just in, cut Benetti stop. In yes. Tracy's yeah. yeah. defense, I don't think he moves that quick. <laughs> also, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he can get also, away that quick. Also, from Damn. from the, from the telecast, I think he eats at Portillos yeah. every, every night. Six days every week. night. <laughs> The guy loves the like the chocolate cake uh, shake and shake. the, the cris- yeah. whatever croissant sandwich. That yeah, that's right. That's you know who else good. we can okay. entice over there with the uh, the chocolate cake shake? Ooh. The naked biker, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> we can just put him in the aisle, and then yeah. he will like walk down the aisle. Just say, like, just say for you know, Bugs Bunny. Lunar Tunes This yeah. is this is think... gonna be a big toilet day. We don't have. <laughs> I don't think the one hundred eighters collectively have the bankroll to feed Ron Kittle all season. We just can't do it. Absolutely. You know? All right, people. Unless, so we, need... unless we went to split the pot, then we donate all of that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we have to use every dollar. All right, so did anyone grab the, the Wally Money card? I have one. Oh, well, no, I don't have one. You guys got one? I don't have one, but we, my brother. I'd like to take one out we, and put we, it we, on the camera. Yeah, no doubt. Thank you. can, can figure it. out what it is. Okay. So the Wally Money card, which is right here. That That's is beautiful. That hella good is The value it? of the Wally Money rookie card is going to tumble after people figure out he doesn't actually wear. David off cool water pump. <laughs> <laughs> we were stunned. We didn't tell the general public. We were so upset. Pete, Pete, what, I mean, do you know what Pete it is? Do you know what it is? <laughs> but when he told us, we started crying. We didn't even hear what it actually was. I'm we pretty sure. I don't know what it is. First we said bullshit. Yeah, that's we didn't believe it. I'm pretty sure it's the knockoff shit you buy on the side of the expressway. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> like I get some socks stops. and I get some cologne yes. from that guy. It's some weird name. So, so this, it's it's a weird name. if you've it's got this card already and it's signed. Sell now. Yeah, you got to get out of it right now. All get right, on eBay right. and get rid of that thing. Our man Nathan, who is the uh, tap room manager here at Bader Brow, he just came in. So I'm going to do this prediction just because he's here. Oh. <laughs> you, need to you need to know this and relay this to everybody. Here, let me get a beer for this. <laughs> All right. Well, while he gets a beard, do you have a prediction to go? For? All right. My last, my last prediction is actually uh, very likely to happen. Our tickets will be checked seven hundred times by the ushers. <laughs> <this season. laughs> for some reason, I'm, I'm not sure why that a couple guys that look like this don't look like they might oh, have, <laughs> they that like they might have season tickets on the lower level. All right, that, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, we're we're pretty handsome. We're pretty well-to-do looking guys. I mean, it's true. The, the three of us will sit in the 108 on, let's say, a Wednesday night. There's no one there. It's just the three of us. Three of us. The two, the entire section. The I'm two sure of us. Jacob will be all right. The two, Jacob of us is usually fine. Fine. the two of us will get our tickets checked four times. Yes. Time. yes. Yes. And my ID. Do they actually think you've got enough energy to run on a field? They, you wouldn't make it over the fence. <laughs> I, I, they, they check... They check for for my social security number for for my my Finger age. Mark? They just they check my pulse, but I understand. <laughs> that I look like I might. Be. <laughs> That's right. Check your paper. All right, my green card. Nathan has got a beer, so <laughs> this is one of the predictions for 2018. Uh-huh. Bader Bra will do a one nil section 108 branded beer. Oh. It will be a Mexican lager oh. with oh. rice, oh. cinnamon, vanilla, and lactose. <laughs> lactose. <laughs> lactose is a milk, but it's also just a lot of sugar. It's just mostly sugar. <laughs> We're gonna now. 
We're going to name it. It will be named L Drunks in the Outfield. Okay? That's what we're going to call it, L Drunks in the Outfield. Nathan has already shot this down. This person is dead in the water. Hold on. I don't know the line go. Hold on. We're not done. Cherizi will pass out at the release party, but since he's kind of being honored, he will not be kicked out. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> like our buddy Nick. You need a great style. That's right. <laughs> I think it would be a great treatment. I feel like Nathan will just stash <laughs> me in a back room. I'll wake, I'll wake I up. I think like, the Whoa. odds of you getting a better looking beard than me well, are better than me. <laughs> really? Oh. I'll, get, I'll give that better odds. Shit. <laughs> well, that's not happening. All right, people, I think, is this our last one? It's my last one, yeah. So I, well, hold on. Go ahead. That's my last one. You may have a couple more. My last one for 108 predictions is that the Slump Buster and Biggins, who we talked about previously, will make it out for at least one, count of one, together, Sunday fun day game. Oh, no way. It's rare for them to get out to a Sunday game. They usually have uh, getting drunk and passing out in the bar or NASCAR race or whatever the fuck bullshit that they do. Yeah. I think they're going to make it out and they're going to be part of it. And maybe they'll actually... Uh, hop in the tub with us for the Sunday no, Slump. I assume, no, yeah, I assume every Sunday morning that Slump Buster is, is, is locked in a, in a closet pulling a Martin Riggs with a, a gun in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but in a classy way. Slump Buster, a.k.a. Rick James. In a classy way. <laughs> they did come to one Sunday game. They did. Right? They did. And <laughs> right before we were going to go jump into the tub, they were like, oh, we got to get the fuck out of here. They were kind of scared. Yeah. yeah. Well, so you know, they, they definitely were not. not we've got with, like, participating. armadillos in our trousers. <laughs> <laughs> People get scared. Well, all right. All right. You've got six more, right? I got two more. <laughs> I got two more. And I, How do you have two more? Well, if I mean, worked through four. I just only did two. two. I only did two. <laughs> all right. I only did two. All right. all right. Go ahead. So I'm going to say this because he's here. Aloha, Mr. Hand is here. And. He will spend more time in the 108 this year than he will in his kick-ass seats behind home plate. I believe this. Yeah. Yes. And it's going to be a shame because those uh, two yeah, guys ain't allowed in my... In my that's, that's, well, no, I know, I know that. These We're, guys. Those two are this guy. Yeah. You've been there. They're not, I have been there before. They're not Andy Frayne anymore, but whatever they are, they're not letting us down no, in that no. area. They won't let us in our own section. <laughs> 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 now, now, now all got right, one I got one more. Final one. Uh, we will be on TV several times this year, as our mass game will be back full blast. All right, I, I, I am feeling this big time because okay. I almost brought a mask tonight to start the show up. All right, and the so squirrel, this is the, not the squirrel one. mask. <laughs> <laughs> squirrel mask plays. People on the internet that love the squirrel really mask. We're that gonna was bring, a really good be mask. bringing out a bunch of them this year. I, I hope I can't wait until you get accosted when we're walking in. Like, okay. what are all these masks for? And you're like, in Don't my bag. <laughs> Your bag. Yes. I can't fit on because my head's too fat. <laughs> the second part of this prediction is Jason Benetti will make some disparaging comments about my weight, but he will apologize with some free food. At Portillo. Hashtag dick. <laughs> Whoa. That's the free food? Oh, I mean, no. I'm not saying he's a dick. Oh, he's called me a fat oh, ass. He's like, hey, have some more food, fat ass. I, I'll make you that. I took that the wrong way. I, I thought he was feeding you the Italian sausage. I, I always take dick the wrong way. I'm done. All right, we are, we are done. It is time to really start drinking because uh, we have not been drinking hard enough. If you happen to be done, we will. Uh, there's like nine more pages of something here, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> We're going to cut this off. I think my phone's been on mute. Oh, any questions? Any questions? Oh, hey, questions? Any questions from the crowd? You guys were talking about Mike North. Yes. yes. Am I the only person that knows Mike North being in RoboCop? He was in RoboCop? I did not know that either. I didn't either. know that either. Is he RoboCop? I think, <laughs> I think he was like the news announcer in RoboCop. Yeah. Is really? Yeah, he is. Oh Holy God. shit, I did not realize that. IMDD right now. Hit, hit the Googles. Someone. So wait a second, Ron Jeremy's in Ghostbusters 2. Yeah. And, and the chase. Mike North is in... Uh, is in Robocop. Robocop. This Holy is amazing. Shit, right? What a day. And Otis Wilson <laughs> is like guard in the fugitive. That's right. Yes. No, I remember yes. that. Yes, I remember Ron that. Ron Jeremy was also... Now Otis Wilson is... There's a little bit of data about history. Uh, is Robocop Ken Barger? No. <laughs> <laughs> so Robocop get drunk him? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. But no, they're featured heavily, Vader Brown, the old one from the 80s, uh, featured heavily in Shakes the Cloud. 
Really? Oh, yes, I love that movie. So if you don't watch Shakes the Blood, you can Google it. There's old Bader Brown neons, and then uh, unfortunately he's drinking and driving, and uh, it's Bader Brown. Oh, <laughs> but, we would uh, never do that. Story, story, story goes that they were trying to get other companies to let them feature their beer, but because it's about this alcoholic who's drinking and driving, everybody turned it down. But Ken Pavitovich was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> now when Bobcat comes to you with an idea, you don't <laughs> have to get this up. Well worth the one grand. When the Star, <laughs> when the star of Police Academy 2 comes to you with that. <laughs> You gotta go. You, you can't, can't, you can't yeah, take you, that phone call. You can't turn that down. Hey, not just two, not three or four. <laughs> not Cooper. All right, no, we, got, no. we got any final we'll hey, I got a we'll promotion. No. Cherizi becomes the official ball washer for James Shields. <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> That's a high bar to set right there. Ball. <laughs> again, again. Balls. Balls. That's right. <laughs> so I hear you guys talking about Mike, Mike North. Yeah. Yes. Who the hell is that? <laughs> so he used to be a personality on the score. Light him up like Christmas trees. Exactly. He was like, <laughs> he was like, say, he was the morning guy for a long time. The sports talk uh, luminary in Chicago. He yeah. Was, you know, the, the sports talk started in the early nineties. Yeah. One of the original score guys. Yeah. Oh, Zach. Is is Mike North related to Peter North? Yes. But Mike North is straight. They both shoot heavy streams, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We call it ropes. It's business. ropes. Sorry. Exactly. It's ropes. That's right. <laughs> Any other questions from the audience? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. We're going to end right. on right. Mike Brown right. shooting right. ropes. Right. This, is where, this, is how, <laughs> this is how this is going to end. You're this right. how you're going to end. Oh, obviously. Okay. 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 And Matt Ramsey. Okay. North okay. by North. Remember, sell this card. Get rid of this card as soon as you can. All right. All right thanks for everyone who tuned in. Thanks for Cheers. everyone who came out. We're gonna have a bunch of beers here. If Boys. you're yeah. tuned in and you're close, get over here. We're gonna have like ninety over. more beers. Yeah, let's do this. Cheers. Yeah, and if you Cheers. Guys People will buy you a beer. I'll tell you that story. You'll yes. There you yes. Go. The pizza, pizza girl, girl story. Girl. Actually, you're gonna tell that to the room in just actually, a minute. Actually, <laughs> that's, that's on the other side of the paywall. That's right. <laughs> we'll do an all-star soap tub, and I'll tell the story. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 All right. Cheers. Yeah, that's good. Ah.